Okay, so the next thing I want to put into this document are some citations and references. So I'm working in Microsoft Word. If I go up to the references um, menu here, you can see I've I use Mendeley as my reference manager. So I've inserted the Mendeley plugin into Word, you can see here. So if I click on open Mendeley, um, it'll ask my computer to open up my Mendeley account. And in this particular document, I've um, in this particular document I'm writing is about full CPR or CPCR as it's more technically known. So I've created a folder in my Mendeley library and I've gathered some relevant resources in here. So these are the articles I used to base um, my work on. What I want to now is go back and show in my document where I'm getting the information from so that I'm acknowledging the other authors who I'm using. I'm not plagiarizing their work. So if I go back to my document and have a look, um, you can see here, for example, in this table, I've put in a reminder to myself that this table is taken from Corley and Stephen. So what I want to do now is remove that typing. So I just type that in. And instead, I want to put in a citation from um, Mendeley. So I want to insert Reddit citation. So I want to search for Corley Stephen 2008 and its procedures in the neonatal fold. Perfect. So that's the reference there. I'm going to click OK and it's going to pop it, pop it in there. Now, if we have a look at my um, Mendeley plugin, I've told it that I'm using the DKIT um, Harvard reference in style. If when you open Mendeley, that's not there, you can go down to style and you can click more styles. And then when you look down through this list, you'll find that the DKIT version is there. Okay. It's important as well to save your document as you go along. So I'm going to press um, command and save now on a PC that's control and save. So I'm periodically save my work as I progress. Okay, so I've indicated where um, this guide to the size of the ET tubes is coming from. It's from Corley's work from 2008. Um, then I have, let's see what else we want to put in. I've talked about using a capnograph here to confirm your end tidal CO2 values and use that to confirm tube placement. So I'm trying to remember where did that come from? I can go back here and check. Um, was it from this Giacosalo article on capnograph? So I'm going to search. I know I read it in one of these documents. I'm going to search and see is capnograph in this document. Um, what I'm finding is it's telling me it's not. Okay, let's try a different one. Um, who else had sections in it? This one here as well. So this one does have capnograph in it. So you've got three matches. So first of all, it's telling you what equipment to have. That's not telling me about end tidal CO2, so that's fine. Um, here we go. This is the reference I want to, to use. So it's telling me if a capnograph is available, it can be attached to the end of the nasotracheal tube to ensure correct placement in the trachea. Perfect, that's the information I want. Okay, so look at the top. I can see this article is by Corley and Axon. So I'm going to go back to my document. And this is, I want to insert this citation here to show where I'm getting this recommendation from. So I'm going to place this inside the full stop because it is the citation is part of the sentence. It doesn't go on in a separate sentence. And then I'm going to, so I'm going to put my cursor where I want the citation to appear, insert citation, and I know it's Corley and Axon. And this is the paper here, 2005. So I click OK and it pops in here. So I'd, I'd work my way down through the document like that, putting in my references, uh, sorry, putting in my citations whenever I have a piece of um, information in the article that I didn't come up with myself, basically. I'm rewriting it in my own words, but I still want to show where the information is coming from. So I complete that for the rest of the document. When I'm finished, when I have all my citations in, then I'll go down to the bottom and I'm going to type my heading references. I'm going to make that um, a subheading at level two and then I'm going to go back to my references menu and I'm going to tell Mendeley I want to insert my bibliography here so I click on insert bibliography and so far I've put in two references I've put in Corley and um, 2008 and Corley and Axon 2005 so those two references pop up here and you can see if you check they're laid out in the same way as the DKIT guide to Harvard referencing because I'm using that style okay I'm now going to save my work before I go on and continue editing and working on it. So hopefully that's explained to you um, one way to go and put some references into your articles.